So, uh... Worthless? <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to get the worst list down by, um, Friday. That was like three days ago, so, yeah. <laughs> Here we are, we're, 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 we're doing it now, so, yeah. Uh, I honestly almost don't want to work on the best list, because it's going to take so long. It's going to take, it's going to take more than, like, three hours to do at most. It's going to be, it's going to be long, too. Uh, I don't know if it'll be... I think I actually have fewer albums than last year, because I think I had, like, 15, including Honorable Mentions last year, and I have, like, not... I think I have around maybe, like... Maybe I have a, around the same amount of number, because I don't have a whole lot of Honorable Mentions, but, uh... Yeah, let's talk about the worst albums of this year. Um, and wow. There were quite a few bad ones, like... Um... I, I, I try not to listen to bad music, that's why I didn't really have a worst of list last year, was because uh, I didn't want to subject myself to something that I don't like. Um, but this year I did come across some music that I didn't really uh, sound very good, so uh, let's get into it with... Number four, True Power by I Prevail. Okay, look. I know if if one of my friends is watching this, he's gonna be furious. But I don't know what the consensus is really on this band. From what I've seen, based on like metal trenches and whatnot, uh, they're not really a respected band. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's probably the wrong word. They're not really. Oh god, <laughs> I'm gonna get killed later. I'm just gonna die. All right, but uh, they're not really a band that. Uh, vibes with people. One of my favorite uh, music reviewers, Rocking with Robbie, gave them a pretty meh review overall, and that's kind of how I feel as well. Um, I, I like Bad Things. That's a that's a good song in my eyes. Um, but I think instrumentally this band is solid. It's just the lyrics is where this band falls a lot of the times. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't remember what it was, but one song was like about oh, a I believe the song was only like three minutes at most. And it was about like being tough and just. Ugh. I don't know, man. And also, the rap stuff doesn't really work a lot of the time. It just feels kind of forced in there because rap is so totally rad, bro. I do Xanax on the weekend, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, that was just. Mm -hmm -hmm. But yeah. No, uh, I didn't really care for this album. Uh, I know a friend. I have a friend who really liked this album. Uh, he's probably going to chastise me later. Anyways, let's get into number three. The Reckoning by I Prevail. Oh. 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 <laughs> Did I just say the same name twice? Good good job, me. Uh, no, I meant to say Icon for Hire. The Reckoning by Icon for Hire. It's not good. Icon for Hire is albums after their first one just continually went downhill for me i uh they went i read interviews saying they wanted to be heavier um than what was initially presented on their debut with their debut um oh gosh i can't remember the name <laughs> i'm their debut album was probably their best album uh because it just it's so good, man. It's that kind of hard rock I love. On it, a lot of their songs can be used for AMVs. One of my all-time favorite songs, Off With Their Head. It has one of the coolest, like, riffs, and I love the electronic elements put into the album, too. Um, I don't know the singer's name, but their singer's vocal performance is top-notch. Uh, but it seems like I kind of hire as of late, as... Um, and kind of shying away from rock. This is maybe a bit more of a return to form, but not by much. Uh, it really just kind of feels really generic, which, I mean, you could say that about their debut, but their debut had style, it had swagger, it had some... It was... It was... It was up there with some of my favorite hard rock albums, and now they're just kind of a weird band that I check out because, oh, that first album was really good. 
despite them never really catching that magic for me, at least again. Um, but yeah. Overall, I just, I don't know, man. This album felt very painfully generic. There was there was really nothing to it. And I, and I feel bad, because I don't want to say this about uh, a band. I, re I really like this band. Um, but yeah. Moving on, we have... Dominion by Skillet. I'm gonna be upfront with you guys. I didn't want this album to be bad. I really didn't want this album to be bad. I had hopes, you know. I I liked a few songs off of Unleashed. It's not my personal favorite. I actually liked uh, about maybe like half the track list off of Victorious. So I was I was hopeful. I was like, okay, you know, Skillet can still make good songs. Uh, you know, the first single, which was Surviving the Game, it kind of kind of left something to be desired for me. I felt the chorus was a bit too poppy. It felt like just kind of generic. It just didn't feel like Skillet. Though, to be fair, the riff it had was killer. I really liked that riff. Um, the second single, Standing in the Storm, I love that song. That is one of the best songs on the album. Um, so it got my hopes up, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, this, this is gonna be really good, this could be the best, like, wow, okay, 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 I still got my expectations somewhat low then, um, with the next single was Dominion, and I was like, whoa, 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 this song is really good, okay, okay, I, I still, I was like, wow, okay, is this album actually gonna be good? I was like, wow, wow, uh, cause Dominion is a really good song, it's, it's got... It's very unique for Skillet, and, uh, yeah. Then Refuge came out, I'm like, okay, uh... And I'd hate to say that about Refuge, because it is a, uh, It is a genuine song coming from a genuine place. Uh, it just feels very generic instrumentally, that's really all. Uh, and, and I know what a good Skillet ballad sounds like. They've done that better on Comatose, Collide, and even Alien Youth. Alien Youth has one of my favorite ballads, which is, a. Uh, Oh, gosh. Will you be there if I fall? Or some variation of that. Like, mm. <sighs> Then the album came out. And I was disappointed. Very disappointed. I'm not going to give up on the band yet. Uh, if, they, if they go another Arena Rock for the next album, I'm probably just going to drop the band. Uh, but uh, but I'm hopeful that they will do a return to form because that's what they really need right now. The arena rock sound has just gotten played out. It's it's stop. You were good at it for like two-ish albums. Please stop. Go back to like Comatose or even Collide. I would love another album that sounds like Collide. Please, Skillet. Please, I'm begging you. Yeah, overall this album was just not very good. I mean. <sighs> The album ends on White Horse, which is okay, fine, uh, except it's not. It's a weird song, it's got this weird flow, and I almost, I actually thought, I, when I watched the Rocking with Robbie review of it, I thought, oh, uh, it's like, no, no, I'm pretty sure he rapped it, and then no, he just was speaking weird and slow, and I was like, oh, I guess I, I remembered it wrong, but no, yeah. And overall, it was just a weird song to end your album on. Like, when you think of Skillet album closers, you know, you, you think of, like, um, Cycle Down, that's a great one. Or, um, oh, it's another good one. Lucy, Lucy is a great album closer. That's one of the best songs they would ever make. Why don't you play it live? <coughs> Anyways, yeah. Yeah, like, you think of those types of songs, and I'm like, wow, those are great. And then you get this at the end of this album, and it's like, what is this? I didn't want this. So yeah, um, another thing is that some of the tracks feel almost metalish with their like downturned riff, which which was cool to hear. But uh, like with songs like Night and Destroyer, they just had no merit. Honestly, I feel like sh songs like uh, Shout Your Freedom would be a lot better um, as well if they had a different chorus. You know, not this big radio rock chorus. You know, but more of a laid back. You know comatose type chorus you know because uh, I, I felt like that song was really solid up until the chorus and that's the problem with a lot of these songs like destiny would be a pretty good song if it just had a different chorus like 
If the a lot of these songs would be really good if they just had a different chorus, and that is the main problem here. They're just forcing just arena rock, radio friendly sound into every single song, and it doesn't work. Anyways, moving on, let's get to the mind-numbing number one worst album of the year. What's the number one album, you might be asking? Well, I'll tell you. It's Five Finger Death Punch. Who else would it be? Look, all those other albums, they're, like, my personal, like, disappointments. <laughs> you know? They're not objectively the worst. To me, this is objectively the worst album of 2022 and of last year. Why do they continue to make music like this? I like some Five Finger Death Punch, but they're not, like, my favorite band. I will not hardcore stand them and tell you that they're the greatest thing to grace this earth, this earth since Annie DeFranco, I don't know. Yeah. This Afterlife isn't a good album. The drums sound completely fake. They don't even sound like real drums. They sound like they were programmed in somebody's basement. Let's get into the lyrics, because they're all, they're all terrible. They're all trash. Five Finger Death Punch's lyrics are just... Mm, the worst. Literally. The worst. Um, I wouldn't say they're always the worst. They're decent at times, but like... This album has some of the worst lyrics. Like, it's just... Oh, woe is me! Blah, 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 bullshit. And it's also, like... The real problem is the media. It's like, bro. Calm down. <laughs> like, we don't care. When you have a self-righteous attitude about these things, nobody's gonna take you seriously, dude. And like, that's, that's kind of a shame, because I think this band had potential. They, they don't have potential anymore. They're clearly just comfortable with barely passing on honestly i wouldn't even say they pass that bar they go under the bar to make underachieving music that is 100 and completely ascent not original it is so derivative so yeah yeah like the album thinks it's more important than it is and it's not this is not an important album nobody will remember this album if anybody remembers this album, it's because they're a hardcore stand for your band, okay? That's the only reason. And it generally surprised me when I'm I'm in a Discord server. When people said, like, I saw someone in a Discord server post something about this album. They're like, oh, pretty decent so far. And I'm like, pretty decent? This album sucks, dude. Have you heard it? And I'm not here to, like... Like, if you like Five Finger Death Punch, that's fine. But please find better bands than them. Like, go listen, go listen to Inferi. They're a way better band than Five Finger Death Punch. I wouldn't even call this metal. Like, this isn't even alt metal, and I love alt metal. This is hard rock that is painfully generic and not even fun to listen to. Like, I can listen to bands like, oh, let's see here, Trapped, with some level of, like, enjoyment. No enjoyment comes from this band. Nothing. When I listen to this band, I feel nothing. Nothing. And, like, look at this cover. I mean, pers I like edgy things, so I do think it looks cool. But it does seem try-hard, like, very try-hard. But it, uh, I, it, it is very cool, so... <clears throat> I, I give them a pass on the album, but... The music is just... <sighs> it just makes you want to, to listen to anything better than it. Yeah. This album, 0 out of 10. I don't even give ratings. 0 out of 10. Not worth your time. Don't sink any time into it. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this 
grand journey of uh, going over the worst songs of the year. Uh, the best list will either be out by tomorrow or Wednesday, depending on when I feel like doing it. If it's not out by then, it'll probably be done around Friday or Saturday, uh, so I have, you know, time to work on it. Uh, considering I work on, uh, I didn't, considering I have school throughout pretty much the entire day, I really only have like three o'clock in the afternoon. I feel like once I get done with the video, it might be dark outside. Uh, and I tend to like have natural light. So, uh, if, it, if it's not out by Tuesday or Wednesday, expect it around Friday or Saturday. I'm terribly sorry I didn't get this out sooner. I really wanted to. I was spending time with my grandma. Anyways, bye. Thank you for watching. And remember, listen to Infury.